Hey, it's Kevin here at Loveless Custom Guitars. Today I am going to level the frets on this neck for the Thin Line Telecaster Custom Build. I'm taking some painter's tape and taping in between the frets on the fretboard to protect it from any scarring from sandpaper. Uh, when you do do this, you just mainly uh, want to concentrate on your frets and not have anything touch your fretboard if possible. And this really helps to uh, cover it. Now, there's some people that don't cover their frets because they're really good at it. Uh, I don't trust myself to be um, that confident. And I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I don't mind taking the time and covering them up. Uh, because it, it only takes one mistake, you know. And then you got to figure out what to do next, how to fix it. But anyway, uh, as I go down the scale with the tape and the frets are getting closer and closer together, I just started taping over even the frets instead of cutting the tape down. Uh, it was just quicker to do it this way uh, than trying to cut tape in half and stuff. So as I uncover these uh, frets, uh, you got to be careful not to gouge. Um, your fretboard or even your frets I mean that those frets uh, even though they're metal um, your blade is harder than those frets are so your blade will win over those frets they, I mean you can cut a fret uh, I've, I've heard stories of guitars falling over and the string cutting right through the fret um, that's even happened to a uh, uncle of mine that played music professionally uh, he had to replace uh, have the frets replaced and re-leveled um, but anyway now I take a black marker and I cover the fret completely with it and so as I sand with my level any high spots will be sand it off first and you'll see the shiny metal on the frets again and you just uh, work your way down to the to the frets until they're completely level and then you put the marker back across there and you check them again but uh, the second time I, I used the, the uh, level with sandpaper on the side of it uh, I use 2000 grit for polishing purposes more than taking down any frets because uh, the first time I stained it, I used 100 grit and that pretty much took down the frets that I needed. I didn't want to use the 100 grit sandpaper, but I could not find my 220. So I improvised because I didn't want to go to the store and I just didn't want to go. <laughs> Uh, so I improvised and it worked out good. <laughs>